Hello, welcome my dear brothers and sisters, you know. Today I would like us to go into detail, more detail, you know, into about the former video which I did, you know, the origin of the name Nigeria. We're going to look deep, deeper into detail, you know, because some people are asking me some questions, you know, which I really wanted to, you know, use this medium to do what, to answer them, so that you can be able to do what, to get to know the detail of what I'm actually bring, bringing out and showing to all my listeners, you get it. Like I said, you know, it's going to be what? It's going to be educative and it's going to be about the origin of the name Nigeria. We need to do what? We need to get to know this, my dear brothers and sisters, because it is what vital. Like I said, a lot of things, many things that has been affected, you know, in when it comes to, it's mostly when it comes to what? When it comes to history about what is really the origin of some certain things, you get it? So let's go into detail so that we can be able to know where and what, was the reason behind this contraction behind the reason why the term nigger and aya was matched together because when you check the term nigeria you see that there are what this word which is nigger and there's another word which is aya now these two words was being brought together and was matched to nigger and now it is called nigeria so these are the, these are two different words that has no connection with each other. This one we have nigger, which is in Latin, and negro also. The term nigger is negro, and it means black. You get it. And so now you have something that was added to it, which is a suffix. So we need to go look after. We need to go check for this suffix. And this suffix, when you check in the word Nigeria, you're going to see a suffix which was added to it. And this suffix is Aya, I-A. So, and this suffix is what we're going to go after now to see why they added it to the term nigger to get the name Nigeria. You get it? So that it will be very clear to you, all my listeners, you know. Because like I said, the term, the word Nigeria, the name Nigeria is an invention, is a name that was invented to hide the true identity of the people who are living in this area. Because they know that the people who are living there are the chosen people. These people are what? These people who are living in that area are the chosen people. They are the Hebrew people, the original Hebrew people. So they hid the identity of these people behind this name Nigeria so we are going to I'm going to do what I'm going to take this time to do what to give you the etymology of what the origin of these two contraction nigger and ayah today we'll be digging deep into what into the meaning into where the etymology of the term ayah comes from because like I told you because like I told you, Aya is a suffix that was what that was added to what to nigger to make it to be to make it to be what Nigeria. So we're going to I'm going to do what I'm going to dissect this in a way that you can be able to do what to get it and know that what that there's a game that has been played on the people. Nigeria. What what a name. What a name. You know. Now let's go into detailed definition of what of this term so we already know what the term nigger is nigger means black negro you know in the latin negro nigger you get it so now according to the Zondervan bible dictionary it says something you know that that ham became the ancestors the forefathers of what of the dark races but not the negroes so Zondervan Bible Dictionary is what is exempting the Negroes from being from the descendant of Ham. So the Negroes are different, are completely different from what, from every other different, every other what, every other race. And these people are what, according to the scripture, they are the chosen people. So you get it. So now something is happening about these people. Some people are trying to do what, to hide the identity of these people from before their eyes and today I'm going to show you that what that that contraction nigger which is what which is the name which they use and ayah which is the suffix which they added to hide the identity of these people was actually was purposely invented to do what to hide the identity of those people of those Hebrew people who are living in that area 
You get it? Before it was even called Nigeria, it was called, it, that area was something different. You get it? But it was during the time, there's they, somebody who named Nigeria with that name, Nigeria, meaning what? Meaning something. So we're going to do what? We're going to check the etymology of these two words. Nigger, already, we already know what nigger means. Nigger means Negro, means black, means a certain people. You know, so an Aya, so but Negro is not a name of somebody, you know. So, but what they are doing is they are using this Negro Aya, Negro area, a Negro area that means Nigeria to do what to hide the identity of these people who are the Hebrew people. Now, let's go into the etymology of the term Aya, I A, you know, because we need to get we need to do what we need to go to the roots. This is going to be what much educative, this is going to be what very very informative for those of you who are open-minded you know just take time just take a brief time it's not going to last long my dear brothers and sisters so now i would like us to go into the etymology of the term ia here you get it because it's the last two words the last two alphabet that is in the name of what of nigeria go check the name nigeria the, those last two words is a suffix is something that was added is something that was added to what to nigger to do what to you know both of them now they came together that means negro and aya is just like like a fence like a wall you know negro is not a name uh, is not a name of a people you know and aya is a suffix something that was added so it's just like a wall that was made to hide to hide from the people their original name you get it so nigeria is not an is is, is is an invention is a creation something that was invented to hide the identity of what of a certain people you know it is a an invention so now let's go into into detail of that ayah that is what the last two words which is being found in what in the now in the term nigeria now let's go into that word i a that term i a into the dictionary, there's a you go to the Google and you type it in there, my dear. I'm using Google directly, you know, so that I can be able to follow me along, you know, because I would like to bring into the simplest form where I would like my brethren, you know, to follow so that I can be able to grab, you can be able to grab and get actually what I'm talking about, you know. So now, when you type in IA, the etymology, you need to get the etymology of IA, they're going to show you under dictionary, under dictionary. Not Wikipedia. I mean Wiktionary first. IA. They are going to show you the etymology of IA because we need to get to know to identify what is the etymology of this IA. You get it. So now, because when we know the etymology of the IA, we already know what Negro is. Then when we know what etymology of IA it means, then we now know that what this IA was added to what to Negro. Negro, which is not a name of a people. And IA, which is now a suffix, was added together like a wall to block, to prevent the original people not to know who they are. So it's like a wall, it's like a sh it's something that was, you know, it was used to blindfold people. You get it? But actually it was used to identify. For them it is it, an identification mark. It is something that was used to identify a certain people. But to those people, it is what, it is something that was used to blindfold them. You get the you get the tricks there. So now when we go into Aya, it says what the etymology of it is tells us that it's a suffix. Is what is New Latin from Latin IA and ancient Greek IA, which form the which form abstract now of feminine gender. A feminine gender. Now is a suffix. IA is used to form a taxonomic names. Especially to form a genius name. So it is what it is used to form a taxonomic names. So we need to know what is a taxonomy. Now let's go. Let's let's let us let us check. Say they say what? They say that IA is used to form a taxonomic names. So but what is a taxonomy? A branch of, of a sorcery that encom a branch of science that encompasses the description, identification, and nomenclature and classification of organism. So it is a branch of sorcery or science as they call it today of identification. So they use this IA to identify a certain people. They use it to do what to identify the Negroes. But remember the Negroes, the, this word Negro is a name that was used to do what to hide the identity of a certain people. So now we are seeing that IA is being brought in place now to do what to match with that Negro 
That means IA and Niga was being brought together to, to be like a war to prevent the people, the original Hebrew people, from knowing who they are. While those people who created that term, Nigeria, will know, will use it to identify who they are looking for. Now, I hope you're following me. So they told us that taxonomy, a branch of science that encompasses the description, identification, nomenclature, and classification of organism. So they used IA to do what to classify, to identify who the Negro people are. You get it? So it's used as a means of what? Identification. So the term, what you're seeing in Nigeria, is what is a simple term which they use to do what to identify a certain people. It is and what an invention to deprive, you know, for the people who are staying there, for the Hebrew people who are there, it is what it is something, it's something that prevents them from knowing actually who they are. It's like a war. Whereas the people who created it, who made it, used it to do what to identify a certain group of people. You remember what I told you about the son of Van under Ham? He said that what? He said that Ham is the ancestors of the dark races, but not the Negroes. So, but here now we see these people using this term Nigeria to identify the what? Those Negroes, who they are. So now further we need to go, because we need to go into detail. Let's go in further to see the second definition of the term Aya. Because we need to get it. When we go to the second definition of the term Aya, what do we say? Because remember I told you that the first one is what they used it in taxonomic names. That is to say they used it to identify a certain people. You know, that was why it was added to the term nigger. You know, to the term nigger, negro, you know. And they, they form, they come to, to that contraction which is called Nigeria. You get it? So now I want you to see the second meaning of etymology. Second meaning of the etymology of the term Aya, which is also a suffix. You get it? Suffix is something that was added. You get it? Something that was added. You know, Aya was added to what? To Niger. To form Niger Aya or Nigeria. You get it? Just very clear. So now the second meaning of what? Of the etymology of Aya is a suffix Aya. It says it's used in forming names of countries. You get it? Diseases, flowers, and rarely collections of things. So now something caught my attention when I came to this second definition also. It said that what that is used in forming names of what of countries, diseases, and flowers. So we need to know who is then behind because by the time we get to know what flower means, because when I came to this flower, it caught my attention in a way that you know, oh the person, somebody who formed the term Nigeria, she's been called Flora. Does, is there any connection between flowers and flora? We are going to see today. You know, because remember, what they say, what the history, what they gave to us, they said that what the flora show was the one that gave... And let's go, let's go straight into Wikipedia. Let's type in the name flora. Flora show. Or flora lady. Lugard. Or just type in flora show. It said flora lady Lugard. Under Wikipedia, it said that what was a British journalist and a writer. She is credited with having coined the name Nigeria. So we're saying that what that a lady, somebody is involved in coining, that is in formulating, in bringing together, that is to say, in forming a name, this name Nigeria. You get it. So it is under Ayo that we are getting this now because they told us in in the other in in the second meaning of Ayo that is what that you can find this. Flower in it is used in forming names of flowers. So we need to know who is behind this term Aya because since you see that the Negro, somebody is behind that name, you know, they used it to identify somebody is behind that name, Negro. You get it? There are some certain people who are behind that name, Negro. So somebody also is behind the name Aya. And the one who is behind this name Aya is the person whom we are going to identify because it was through this, now they brought in this contraction. You get it? So the individual who is behind this eye is what we are going to do what is the person whom we are going to do what identify and lo and behold we go to straight into what into flora show they told us that flora is the one that coined the name Nigeria so but let's go into victionary let's go back to victionary to identify who is flora 
who is this flora that is what is the ophthalmology what is the region what is the origin of this name because flora is the one that coined and gave nigeria the name nigeria so who is this flora flora according to wikipedia according to Vic victionary is a roman mythology the goddess of flowers you get where i'm going to nature and spring she is also she is also the wife of favenius or, 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 or so what they put, put in here the ancient you get it so you see that what she is a roman mythology the goddess of what of flower that is the name behind this is what these are the people behind that